today is a wonderful day. Today is a wonderful day because after three months the gym is open today. Today is my very first day of going back to my own gym, Barbell Brigade. I am so excited. I was so excited. I don't even know if I could sleep last night. I kept tossing and turning because you guys know how much I like to train. And because of the whole quarantine, um, COVID-19 lockdown, everything, I was held back from my own gym for three months. And yes, a lot of people in the comments I read are like, wait, but don't you own the gym? How come you're training in your backyard? Why don't you go train at your gym? Isn't it your own? Can't you do everything that you want over there? Technically, technically, yes. But I feel weird about it, you know? It's like almost like, um, oh, okay, cool, I own a gym, so I get like these special privileges. I have a whole staff and all my members they all want to train too and just because I own it I get to like flex on them I felt really weird doing that you know I'm like hey if we're all in quarantine let's all go through this together plus when we set up Barbell Brigade like what people don't understand when you become an entrepreneur or if you own a business you're really in the service industry you're there to provide for people you know like people think oh, I own a restaurant so I can ball out no what you're really doing is you're making food for other people so that they can have a great time, so that they can have an escape. They had a shitty day or shitty week or something happened at work or they're arguing with their spouse. And then, you know what? I just want to have a little escape and get a taste of Italy and escape to wherever I need to go mentally. And that's what you're there for. You know, when you own a business, you're providing an escape for people and it's, and it's uh, you're providing a service. So with Barbell Brigade, we're providing a service and I'm like, the whole point of it is so that people that want to train their fucking ass off and have a good time and build a really cool community, that's where people can go. So without the community, there really is no barbell brigade. So I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna utilize my owner privileges and train there by myself. I'm like, that's messed up. That's not what it's all about. So I'm just gonna uh, train by myself and I bought a few pieces of equipment off Amazon as you guys have seen, but we are now open up and I cannot wait to go in there and go, ah, smell the gym air. And you know, when you're just training in the backyard, it's not the same, the sun's beating down on you. And then so even though I take pre-workout and everything, like set after set, you just get more demotivated. And I'm going like this, cause there's fucking stupid bugs biting me. And then like the sun's like frying your eyes, like you lay down a bench and you can't even see. Like Barbell Brigade, honestly, it's one of my most favorite training environments in the world and I'm just so damn excited. The gym is open today. The gym is open today. After three months, the gym is open today. And to my surprise, there is no traffic today. There is no traffic today. After three months, there is no traffic today. That's crazy because the other day the JK News um, after LA uplifted that um, the quarantine thing, we can all go back to work. It was crazy traffic. And today I actually woke up 30 minutes later than I usually do. Um, normally when I'm going to the gym, I wake up around 5, 5.30 and I'm already on the road by 6. Today I'm pretty much on the road by 6.30. And I was expecting a little bit of traffic, but there ain't no traffic today. There ain't no traffic today. Today's gonna be a super awesome day. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood. A wonderful day in the neighborhood to be back. Dun, da, da, da. We're actually not even uh, open today. We open tomorrow. Um, but today is uh, the day to do some last minute wrap ups and the staff did a really good job of putting all the little squares so people know to stay six feet apart. We're having all these sana uh, sanitization centers so people can clean up all the materials so everyone's between six feet apart even over there on the turf and this whole place got steamed, cleaned, freaking bio I don't know all the fancy terms but they come in and sanitize the whole damn thing and they even move some of the equipment around just so it could be extra safe like the leg press machine what used to be here and the 
and they, they switched them around this. I mean, they used to be this way, and they switched them around this way. So, good to be back. Oh, I missed you so much. Time to put on some tunes and get rocking. All right, so I just got back home from working out, and you guys know that in Jill's car, we left the meet in the other day, and we didn't know where that funk was coming from, and then we found it like a week later. We're like, oh no, so that's why it's been smelling like crap. So I looked online, and I found this car detailing company, and they're killing it right now, by the way. Shout outs to SUTG, that's David right there. They already put the tire dressing on, but the, the wheels look hella clean. Paint looks nice and smooth. And they come to your house with this canopy so everything looks nice and sick. They got their own truck. Look at all that, all this own equipment. And then he was like, yo, I also got a barber shop. And I'm like, what? And look at the inside of his car. This is crazy. That's insane. He even got the spinning barber thing. Man, you got, you got a TV and a barber chair. If you guys need, if you guys need to look fresh on a first date and you need to get your car clean and a haircut at the same time, look up SUTG and it's stir up the gift. And they'll come to you, they'll schedule with you and they'll come to you, this is dope. Are you trying to take a nap? <laughs> You're too happy for trying to take a nap. <laughs> Alright, about to go in the office and get some work done. What's really cute these days about Fani, she always follows me. I don't know why. This is crazy because back in the day, like she would always just go and do her own thing, right? And like her and Meatloaf would be in a room somewhere. But now, She's completely, 100% addicted to me. And if I go in my room, not only will she follow me, but watch, I'll close this door. See if she does it. She'll come and actually scratch on the door. Like she really wants to be with me really, really bad. And that's insane. I don't even know why that is, where, he got, where she got this crazy personal um, attachment to me. Because, let me turn the light real quick. She's technically, because she's technically Gio's dog. Gio chose her when we went to go rescue her from the West Side uh, German Shepherd Rescue. So I'm like, man, this is, it's crazy that she's this attached to me and she's technically not mine. And I don't know if it's because maybe she's missing like a male figure in her life or something, or she like, she's missing that alpha male, maybe meatloaf was that what is wrong with the computer? Maybe Meatloaf was that alpha male figure and she doesn't have that anymore. So I'm the next closest thing, which is kind of sad because that'd be funny if she viewed Meatloaf as a leader of the pack. I thought she was going to be scratching by now. Hmm. Interesting. Because usually she would have been scratching already. She might be right around the corner though. Man, she's making me look all bad. Cause usually she would have been there. Anyways, she does love me as much as I am saying she loves me. I know I don't have the evidence to prove that right now, but she does, okay? Time for me to get to work. Look at this little Fulio and his shenanigans. See what he's up to. Puts it in his little red bucket. And what's he gonna do? Probably throw it all over the place. <laughs> How did I know? How did I know? Oh, much good. Look at this guy. Whoa. Can bring it back. I think you're missing one. Over there, it's over there, the green one. Oh, it's right there, in that corner. Ah! Ah! All right, and let's, there we go. This guy's crazy. Ooh, that looks good. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, look at that. Looks good. So leave everything down? 
Oh uh, yeah, just leave the door open. Go get the tennis ball. Leave it. No, don't even run into the street. Stay there. Uh, yeah, leave the doors open. No, 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 leave the doors open. Because you know what happens? The wet streaks on the window. No, I said leave open the doors. Leave the doors open. Oh no. no I, I said, do I put the windows down? And you I know, in, in the middle of watching a kid, I said, yeah. I know. There you are. Ah! You go to jail. You go to jail. You go to jail. There you are, funny. Oh yeah, funny's nice. Funny's an old lady. You gotta be nice to her. You gotta be nice to her. She's an old lady now. She's a grandma. Funny's a little grandma. You know that. <laughs> I go to jail, why? What did I do? How come I'm going to jail? Why don't you go to jail? Hey, you let go. Haha, <laughs> my eczema cream. I got my eczema cream on, and it's all slippery. That's the jail? Why do I have to go to jail? Haha, <laughs> you go to jail. Taika go to jail. Taika go to jail. Oh, careful. There. You have a pear in there? Yeah, yeah. Why do you have a half-eaten pear in there? What the, who ate this? Did you eat a half-eaten pear and just put it in here? Yeah, that's <laughs> Grandma, why is there a half-eaten pear in here? That's his? That's his? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, he's saving it for later? Yeah. Good thing you brought me to jail so that it was not rotting yeah. all up in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You go to jail. You, you go to jail. You go to jail. Get in there. You go to jail. Then why you tell Papa go to jail for? Hey, that's not nice. That's not nice, dude. Then maybe this. Ha! You go to jail. Fine. What is that? Chicken? Oh, you gonna ride it? Coo -coo -coo. I'm making some dinner right now. And today is a pretty simple kind of night. Some shabu shabu. Nothing with like the fancy vegetables or anything. Because I'm just trying to clean out the fridge. But we did have some cabbage. So I got this going on. And my favorite, favorite meat from my favorite supermarket. What's crazy is... um. So I go to H Mart, right, which I love, 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 and I've tried all kinds of shabu from there, from Wagyu, super marble, to their super cheap stuff, and like anything every in between. And I've tried some that are like, like I think like $70 a pound, like which is nuts, just, just wanted to try it. This place I get it from, this is from Tokyo Central, um, and this is only $12 a pound, and this, hands down, I think is my favorite, favorite. It has like the perfect amount of chew. It's uh, not too thinly sliced where it just melts uh, and it completely disintegrates. And it's also not too thick where you're like, doesn't cook evenly. This hands down is my favorite. If you ever go to Tokyo Central, go check it out. Even frozen, it's so bomb. So this we're gonna have. Yeah, we're gonna have shabu shabu. <laughs> he loves that word, so cute. And to get a head start on this, cause this thing is a little bit slow. I put a little bit of water and heat this up, but I always boil water on the side because it gets way hotter over here and I just pour that over there so it saves on time or else that thing will take sometimes like 30 minutes to get hot. Shabu shabu? Yeah, shabu shabu yummy. love shabu shabu crazy. Careful, put the back, it's glass. Put it back, hey. One more cup of water, yes. No, we'll give you a cup of water, not this one, this is glass. What's dangerous, that? dangerous. Ah. I just see little butt cheeks. <laughs> Doug is getting a bath, that's cuny. And by bath we mean throwing soap against the wall. <laughs> Kids have literally the best time. This is so funny. Thank you. Stop. No, don't, no stars. No stars. 
Oh, that's a good job. Don't do that. Come on. Don't turn off the light yet. No, turn it on, please. The way Mod Bear fixes Taika's bed is always so comfy. No, not right now. Look at that, look at that freaking cushion corner. I just want him to feel like he's hugged. And this is like a weighted pillow, so it's like, I hope it would stop him from rolling off. And he's never rolled off the bed. I want to sleep here. This looks more comfortable like than my bed. Right yeah, it's all furry and but Look at all the animals he has. Okay, turn off the light. <laughs> so Say goodnight. All this energy climbing on the bed. In the video, in the, in the video. Say Say, goodnight, everyone. Good night, everyone. No, in the, in the camera. Look over here, look over here. Say goodnight, everyone. Goodnight. Okay, come on. Probably put the monkey to sleep. That guy didn't even get his nap today. So, he's starting to get wild. We all know what happens when he doesn't take his nap. But now, with him asleep, the house is just so much quieter. It's time for us to put everything away so that me and Mop Bear can have our own personal time. And what's beautiful is we actually managed to put him to sleep early today. Look at that. 8.50. Not bad at all. All right, guys. Thank you guys for following us on such a beautiful day. Checking out our first day back at the gym. And um, if you guys want to go train there, you guys have to book an appointment because we are trying to keep our capacity below 35. So go to barbellbrigade.com. You can go to gym login and then just book your appointment. And I'll see you guys there, all right? All right, good night.